Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Fury Advanced Training with me Anubhav. In our last session, we talked about running our Express Engine, which is going to serve static web content of our HTML5 app, which is our UI5 application. In today's session, we will go ahead and talk about how to deploy this application on SAP Business Technology Platform. So as we have also covered two times the basic introduction of what is BTP, you can see that now we, have, we as a developer have developed an application locally in our computer. It's time to run this application on SAP BTP. SAP BTP with Cloud Foundry allows you to run and deploy applications and manage the life cycle of the same directly on the cloud, which means it's public cloud. Eventually your application is available on the internet for everyone to access. Please note that our current application which we have developed is going to work like a Node.js application in BTP. So SAP BTP offers a Node.js runtime. So how exactly what is under the hood of BTP? So under the hood of BTP, you have something called Diaco. Diaco is the brain of SAP BTP or SAP Cloud Foundry. A Diaco is consists of multiple cells. Each cell is basically a small compute unit which consumes some processing power of the computer and each cell then includes something called container. So inside these cells you have containers. These containers are basically responsible for the run times. So one cell can have multiple containers, small small containers and eventually your application is going to be updated or executed inside this container. So this is how we have the overall architecture of SAP Cloud Foundry. Now you as a developer would then eventually push this application to SAP BTP. So you have an application which is developed locally in your computer. This is a Node.js app. I have developed and tested it already local computer. Now this application needs to be delivered on the cloud. So to be able to deliver this application or upload this application on SAP BTP, we need a Cloud Foundry CLI. We call it as CFCLI, command line interface through which we can connect to our BTP account and we can push our application to the Cloud Foundry to make it available for everyone on the internet. So the first thing which we need is this tool called CFCLI tool in our local machine. The next thing which we would need also is inside your application, you will have a file called manifest YAML file. Not manifest JSON. Manifest JSON is you need for UI5 app, but for a Cloud Foundry application, you need manifest YAML file. This YAML file will tell the Cloud Foundry engine about your application like application name, application namespace, its ID, its version and the runtime. SAP Cloud Foundry supports variety of runtimes like Java, Node.js, HTML5, Python, C++, ABAP. So we are going to use the Node.js runtime on the BTP. That is what we're planning to do. So let us go ahead and see this in action. How can we go ahead and deploy our application? Okay, we are done. Now what we do next is we will just do a CF push command. Make sure the CF push command should be done wherever you have on the folder where you have the manifest YAML file. So you see my manifest YAML file is present here. I will just list out files so I can see it's here. So CF push command will search for this file and based on this file, what configuration you define, it will deploy your app to cloud and it will start the app accordingly. So IA, let's do a CF push. And now it is reading the manifest and it is going to start deployment of my application to Cloud Foundry. There's a problem it seems. Using manifest file, the push command requires an app name. The app name, okay. I have to also give app name, CF push and I will say Fury on Cloud. Yes, getting app info. It's reading manifest and you see it's deploying my app. 
पूरा अपलोड कर रहा है क्लाउड के अंदर एंड इट विल स्टार्ट द एप इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स बिकॉज वी ऑल्सो गिवेन स्टार्ट स्क्रिप्ट सो दिस स्टार्ट स्क्रिप्ट इट विल सो नो डॉट कमांड इट ऑटोमेटिकली स्टार्ट बिकॉज द स्टार्ट स्क्रिप्ट इज गिवन सो इट्स जस्ट वॉच आउट वॉट इज इज डूइंग इट्स डाउनलोडिंग द बिल्ड पैक यस इट्स जस्ट चेकिंग थिंग्स इट इज इनिशियलाइजिंग ए इनिशियलाइजिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट and then it's installing the node js see it's installing the node js for you yes automatically in the cloud because it found it's a node js application then it it creates uh, uh, it puts the configuration for node js the runtime variables then it is creating installing node mon yes it is doing post uh, post uh, run activities it's installing express because express is a dependency yes it's installing in the cloud and all the dependent dependency of express and that container is going to have a node runtime node js container and that will read all the dependencies which you given in package json file it's going to download those dependencies is going to start the start script you have given in the in the package dot json and then eventually our application will start voila congratulations celebration your first fury cloud application i am proud to give this url to every one of you जहां भी दुनिया में हो गए आप इसको चला दो ये चल जाएगा नो मैटर वेर यू आर ऑन दिस प्लेनेट इट्स ए क्लाउड नेटिव एप्लीकेशन माई फ्रेंड्स इट्स ए क्लाउड नेटिव एप्लीकेशन जस्ट पुट दिस यू आर इन योर ब्राउजर आई विल गिव यू ऑल वन मिनिट ऑफ टाइम इट्स ऑल योर्स आई हैव गिवन द यू आर एल जहां भी आप दुनिया में हो गए इसको चला दो ये चल जाएगा वर्किंग यस दिस इज फ्योरी ऑन क्लाउड everybody are you got it clear simple this is just the beginning i'm going to show you magical stuff in coming days you can mesmerize your manager and employees in your company your colleagues can never do things which you can do this with this training yes wow superb so you all can develop a cloud foundry native application and run it on cloud super easy just add a manifest file run cf push done congratulations and of course you can take the index.js it's a node js application now hold on hold on let's come back to my screen everybody please come back to my screen now so what we just did is we ran an application it is consuming 6% 0.6% cpu we just started fury on cloud we have lot to come I will talk about authentication, authorization, security. सब कुछ आएगा एक एक करके आएगा ना ओके सो नाउ दिस एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग इट्स रनिंग वन इंस्टेंस सो यू कैन स्केल वर्टिकली एंड हॉरिजोंटली विच मीन्स टूमोरो इफ माई यूजर बेस इंक्रीज एंड इफ आई सी देर इज लॉट ऑफ लोड ऑन माई एप्लीकेशन आई कैन स्प्लिट मल्टीपल इंस्टेंस ऑफ सेम एप्लीकेशन या सो आई डू ए सी एफ स्केल dash i instances i wanted to increase instances of fury on cloud app cf scale fury on cloud i want to run two instances of this instances two enter ab kya karega it will make a copy and it has now started two instance of my app so if you do cf apps again you will see that it will have wow two instances of this app and it takes care of load balancing automatically